Got you. Hey, what's going on, guys? Iguana Man here, and today we are linking up with Jessica from Iguana Solutions. Jessica? Yes, hey, going, going to get a whole bunch of iguanas. Haven't seen Iguana Man in forever, but we're getting back together. We're going to try to get some iguanas out here. Our goal is 50 for the day, but really it's 100. But we're going we're gonna to be conservative and go for 50. We have about three hours to get them. That is right. And today, um, you guys are in luck because we are actually at one of Jessica's brand new jobs. She's just been hired out here, and she actually invited us to help her with the removal. So you're saying there's 50, there's at least 200 animals out here. I think that there's probably a thousand because of where we're at, but because the property's absolutely huge. There's multiple yeah. lakes out here. Um, each lake easily has a couple hundred iguanas. We're trying to get iguanas around certain areas because they paid a lot of money to put in some flowers recently and the iguanas have decimated them. So they want <laughs> to be able to replace the flowers and not have those get decimated. So we're trying to pull out an amount of iguanas that would actually make a difference. So if there were a thousand iguanas, that would mean we took 10%. And right. so we're trying to get a decent number i'd rather take closer to 40 or 50 percent but you got to start somewhere so we're going to start with 10 percent. that's right helping us on today's removal as well is we have dj right here What's going on again as well right. yeah we're going to pull out the guns and show you our arsenal for today we brought a few different guns because the iguanas are so big and we have some great distances to go across and um the backgrounds are lakes and stuff so it's safe to shoot some of the stronger guns as opposed to what i usually shoot at excellent excellent well, I'm going to let you go ahead and do your thing. We are going to get ready, guys. I hope you are ready for today's video. Thank you for watching Iguana Solutions YouTube channel. It's Raj helping her out and along with At DJ. Iguana Man. And where can you find uh, DJ? You can find me on the Iguana Kid on Instagram. I brought three different guns. They kind of have different uses. One of them's the Atomic that only shoots up to around 50 yards with some good power around 35 or 40. This is a stronger version of a very similar gun. This is the concept. Uh, the concept is uh, a good gun up to about 65 yards, and then the bullet just falls off at 65 yards. Um, I'm going to shoot 18 Dang. grains or 14 grains. This one's a Cerakoted version of the gun, kindly done for me at nice. AOA. Beautiful. But um, it's, it's been gorgeous. my favorite gun, to be honest, is the concept, because it's so versatile. It's good for close-up shots, but it's also uh, good for some the distances that I shoot. These Beautiful. are made, the pieces are milled in Italy, and the gun is assembled and put together at the Day State factory in England. Beautiful, beautiful uh, choices and then right here. This is our ghost here. Ooh. And so the ghost, these are all 22 caliber guns. This one's going to be our strongest gun we're shooting with today. It can hit out to 100 yards, but we're not going to be shooting that far. But um, it has the larger barrel, I mean, bottle on it. So we're gonna be able to take more shots with this without having to go refill over and over. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm hoping to be wow. able to get a bunch of iguanas with it. Oh yeah, I, from I, what I've seen on your channel, you've been knocking them down, especially with the ghost. So uh, I think you brought everything needed today. Yeah, so we're gonna <laughs> attach Ooh. our matching suppressor here. I think this is the plus, which is the strongest version, which means it has the longest barrel. In the past, I've shot the carbine with a shorter barrel, but um, I was getting ready for the extreme bench rest, which is mm -hmm. in just a couple weeks, and oh, I was going to be using this gun there, and so they set it up for me to shoot bench instead of iguanas for the moment. Excellent. Now, uh, a lot of people, like, if I wanted to get one of these, what, what would be the best place to uh, purchase one of these rifles? So, these are available at uh, Air Guns of Arizona. You can give them a call and ask them what uh, gun is best for you based on distance and what you're shooting and what you're going to be doing with your air gun. Nice. So many big boys over here on the ground. We're going to pull out the AccuTac bipod. It's great for firearms and air guns. And uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can't get some clean shots off on these big boys. Especially with all these people watching. Don't want anybody to get upset. I can't catch the angle on him from here. I'm going to have to stand with him. Take your time, Jess. Two. I'm going to try to take a shot on this guy. Mm. Might not be a pellet in there. Hold on. Take I'm your, out of pellets. Take your if it'll shoot for me now.
He loved it. I think so. Great he shot. Is laid out. What are we shooting on here? Yeah, we're still shooting on Max. That was an 18 grain pellet. Iguana's a little less than 20 yards. Let's see if we can find some better ones. There's another one down there. I think he's bigger. A huge boy there, but there's a huge boy right there. Oh, I didn't see that guy. I've been watching him, but he keeps sneaking behind that tree. Hang on. He has a friend standing next to him. Really? Yeah. Hang on. Let me see if he's there. Yeah, his head's up on the left. I moved. Hang on. Oh, yeah. He does have a friend. Not no more. That's insane. Hang on, we got this big boy over here. I'm gonna sit. Cause I am dripping some serious sweat already. I don't know about y'all, but I can barely see. This boy's a little bit further. That thing's massive though. Oh, he's on the move. Oh! Far. Oh my gosh. Man, this ghost is just taking him down, huh? I see that. Let's go drop a couple shots. Look, he's going to move on us because he's huge. Wait. Oh, hold, is on, that... hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. He's... Oh, look at that leap. Is there another one? Wait. Yeah. Hang on. I'm going to take another shot. Take your side. time. Take your time. He's massive, Jessica. There. Oh he's my out. God. Ooh, this thing's flinging <laughs> hell inside him, isn't it? It is a, a report and everything. It is connecting. There's a huge one down there. And he's moving away. I don't want him to get... Wait. Maybe we should collect these. Yeah, guys. get the net. You got the net, DJ? Yeah. All right, DJ's on net duty. Let's see. Let's just wait, wait. I don't want okay. somebody to run off. You know how iguanas are. True, true, true. So let me just make right. sure we don't need to... And look, there was two here. Yeah, see, the other one's still right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I see him. This is really close to be shooting the ghost. That's insane. Yep, let's take a step back or two. Let me go grab the atomic. Let me just grab it. Okay, okay. All right, while she's off, guys, we're going to just stay here for a minute and look to see if we see any other iguanas. But I ain't going to lie. That right there was a great execution. This is the Atomic. Or the, uh, the Atomic's my low-powered gun. Shoots up to 50 yards. If we shoot an iguana, it's about this far away. I shoot it about a five-hole, then I'll hit it in the head. Really? Like that. Nice. Like that. Nice. Man, that ghost took this giant boy out. Did you drip on me? No. Oh no. Dang, that ghost did hit him. <laughs> that ghost did hit him with a pretty good critical shot. Yeah. And then, DJ, for you? Yep, just throw it right in the nut. Yep. Big boy. Or hold him down. Excellent. I want to kind of slowly work our way down because there might be one there, right here. Yeah, 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 for sure. There might be massive goannas and still hiding. where'd that hiding. big, big boy go? He's already gone on us? I don't know where he went. Unless he's taking a nap in the grass right there. No, there was one more to shoot past that one. That's the one we shot. Yeah, we're coming. Hey, careful about driving that way because you might scare them. That's where we're heading. Another big lizard. You feel the ground move when you shoot this. Yeah, yeah, it's ground. it's got it's definitely got some, some knockdown power. power. Yeah, for sure. Look down. at that point of impact right there. I'm moving it down to 15 from the 20 max because I just think it's a little unnecessary here. We're still gonna bring him down with one shot. There he is. Where? There he is. Oh my gosh! Yeah, he's on the other side of those barricades. Hold this for a second. Oh, I got this. I got this. I got this. All right. Yeah, that thing's massive. Thank you, DJ. That's pretty cool. So it's got a power setting and you can just adjust it in the field. Yeah, there's a power wheel here that you can change um, your setting whenever you're deciding how hard you need the gun to shoot. I shoot around houses and stuff with the ghost around a six or lower. And um, you could see that the high power that I was just shooting on is almost too much for what we're doing right here. Yeah. So um, I went down to 15 and we're just gonna kind of I like that, I like here. that because a lot of people are asking me like why I be shooting sometimes break barrels by homes. Yes. And it's because low power, you know, the power. The lower power is sometimes better. Well, that's a cool feature that Brokhawk has, though, the power wheel right there. The Atomic also has a power wheel if you uh, modify it to be a 
Is that him? Oh the big gosh. one? I, there's an iguana by the pool. I think that might be him. Oh, that's the big boy. That's the big, right. big one? Big, big? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the one that we were watching right here. Really? I wonder if I could hand catch him where he's at. Really? What's he gonna do? Look, because he's gotta go in where the fence is. We could spook him out towards you. That thing is pretty massive. I'm gonna get him to run out and then uh, I'll take a shot at him. right behind these uh, bird of paradise plants. Smart little bugger. There he is. He's really close. I'm gonna do a hold. I'm holding about three over his head. He loved it. Clapped him. I think he really did enjoy that. He's doing the iguana dance of approval. We got a friend right here. Ooh, he's got a buddy. Oh, is that no what he was friend. doing? Ooh, it's a we party. Got a close up friend on the left first. It's a party. You go on a party by the pool. I hit low. You go on a party by the pool. I hit right on point. He enjoyed that. We got one more and we got a nice tree in the background. Beautiful. I shot over him. Gun's getting a little heavy to hold. He put his tail up! He's waving, at, yeah. <laughs> he's waving at your subscribers. <laughs> look, look, look oh, at he's trying to still whip it off. Look at that, guys. The silly iguana is still trying to tail whip. Insane. Dinosaur hat on his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, that's the first one of the first lizards that I remember seeing as a child. Yeah. Had no idea what it was. That was before the internet and stuff, you know. All right. Let's um. Yeah. Let's... Grab these two and uh, bring them over there, and we'll try to find some more. Sure. I've got to uh, switch hands because it's sure. gone a bit much for my broken hand. Yeah, speaking of broken hand, um, how is your hand right now? Is it is it? It's, it's still healing, and we're only five weeks in from the break, so I still need a couple more weeks to heal. Gotcha. Another one over here in front of the bush. You can just see his head sticking up. Do you see him? Oh yeah. I got him. Got him. Did he honestly have trouble seeing? They wear boy shorts next time you're out here, or some boxes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, I caught it. Yeah, 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 switch, switch. Alright. There he's right there. Got him. The bird approves. Yep, he's like, thank you. Now you can go back <laughs> in my tree. Now you get back in my tree. There you go. All right. Put the ghost down. I'll hold it. He's gonna, you can lay down there. Let's try to reload this and maybe we should reload both. Yes. Oh, I have the other mag in my pocket. Give True. Me a so, our golf cart. <laughs> we didn't <laughs> use it. The point of it was that we wouldn't have to walk and carry all this, that we would drive it. Yeah, so, yep. Yeah, you're gonna sit here and reload. I'm gonna be back, I'm gonna get the golf cart, this way we can load everything up, and right. I'm gonna bring you guys back some drinks, all right? That sounds great. That all sounds right. great, it is so hot out here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's beaming, but you know, the old saying goes here in Florida, sun's out, gun's out, and when iguanas are out, iguana solution is out. Is out. <laughs> you find an iguana in the tree. Ho, 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 ho. Who you see? In this tree here, there's yeah. a big orange. Who you see? If you come here, you'll see his head. 
his straight back it, through this tree limb here. Hold on, if I can get him through there for you. Just do that shit. Go back in there? Yep. Oh, I see him. I might be able to get him with the atomic. Oh, look at him just sleeping up there. Can you get footage of him before we shoot him? Mm. Yep, I got him. Can you show him the people? Look at Stay that. I'm going to take a shot from over here. 10 4. Trying to get an eye shot on him. He's needing to fall. There's so many branches. Let's see. I don't want this to point at you. Let me set it down. I'm going to have to go get him. Yeah. I do not see him. Do you, where do you, she's right up there, right? I think I'm looking at the yep. same iguana. I see her, I see her, I see her. What is going on there? Not cool at all. I think it's low actually. There it is. Landed right with a nail. There, her tail sticking up. Her tail sticking up right now. Yep. You already, you already got your shoes off. Yeah, no, I know. Girl. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Careful. Barefoot sniper at work. The barefoot sniper. You guys are seeing it live in action. Oh, the tail. Oh, she just went under. Oh my Whoa. gosh, what the? What is that? Oh, that's, that's her. That's her. That's her. Oh my God, y'all. Yo, Jess, you better get out of there. You got to turn the gator bait, girl. <laughs> no, she's right up. She's right there. She's right there, Jess. I can't go out there. Oh, it's too deep. It gets really deep after this. Dang. Dang. That was weird. I never seen that For real. That I guess uh, turtle food, huh? Turtle food. Yep. There he is right there. Just as you said, DJ, right by that uh, yeah, hole. Yeah, DJ said it was right there. Yeah, right. Let's go. He's because he's ducking. He's probably gonna jump up and run real hard and hit the water. He's not doing the normal. I'm gonna just walk down behavior. So let's see what he does. I don't like that he's ducking. I wish I could shoot right here. I could hit him with no problem. Walk down. Walk down. Again. You want me to go up and try to take him your way? Uh uh. I want him to just. Now we could probably go by the golf cart and kind of spook him that way. Okay, yeah, see if you could spook him that way. Yep, go by the water. Exactly. So, per the per the contract, can't really shoot behind homes. Just in the common areas and in the areas where a lot of infestation is happening. So like you can see Jessica's pretty frustrated right now because she does want to take that iguana. It's right there. It's probably one of the easiest shots she'd have all day. But per the per the rules, <clears throat> she's got to do it this way, you know? You see that iguana head bobbing as well.
It's almost like she can catch them barehanded. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I think she's trying to pretend like she's a chicken or something. She's pretending she's a rooster. The iguana's head bobbing at her, sizing her up. I knew he was going to get in the water. Hey, he might jump in on the other side. All right, 10-4. We're coming to get you. Comfortable? You're okay with yeah, you? Yeah, I'm fine. Team? Oh, you got him. Yeah. I saw his tail, yeah. <laughs> Let me jump in there and grab him for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. For what you did. Oh, yeah. All right. He needs another one? In the bag. I got him. Yeah. I'll take care of him. Off hand shot around 20 yards, right in the... Looks like we got him in the eye there. Happy with that shot. Well, got you a gun. Got him. Okay, let's get this guy that's on the tree just so he doesn't disappear on us. Nice! Move I like out. that little rifle you got. He's still there. He's in, he's in that same branch where he is at. You can probably see him right there. Yeah, you can see him right there. Oh, I see. I saw movement behind him. There's somebody else behind him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see some jumping on top there, too. Yeah. Oh, man. Drop him. Nice, Jess. Thank you. Nice shot. I like that rifle you got right there. What's that, a Brocock? This is the Brocock Atomic XR. It's the XR because it has the slide mechanism for shooting instead of a bolt action. Nice. Y'all saw another one walking? Yeah, there was another one walking behind him. But yeah, I believe I he jumped across. But where is the question? Woo. Oh, goodness. <laughs> He's a squirrel. Live action. There it is. We got another one to grab. When it smells like cow manure. Yeah, very pungent, very pungent. They're in here, and just like Jessica said, these, these giant lizards are living in these trees, but then eating the landscape. So the back side of these are that same pothos that they eat up, and if we walk through there, you'll hear them run. I think there's a lake back here too, Jess. There is. There's going to be a bunch when we walk through this. Really? Yeah. There is one down. Down, yeah, over there to the right. Yeah, I'll get them. If y'all listen, though, they're going to run through this. Last time I was here, they're going to run through this. Spiders Good. everywhere y'all, so be careful. Not at this point. You want to get him? All right. Iguana kids on that one, Iguana. Me and all three of us are in the bushes right now. Yeah, dude. Uh, I did see some movement up here. Maybe we can get a better angle. I'm not seeing him now. Those smart iguanas. How's it looking over there, DJ? Oh my God, this is a great shot, and it's a nice iguana. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, she has some blue on her belly. Oh, Whoa. look, she has her ear bones coming out. Nice. Oh, she has tick. A, we need to be mindful of ticks. Oh, there's a tick in, right there on her side. We're in Tick County. Dang. Dang. I just talked to some people over at one of the universities. They're sending me some info, and we might be starting to swab iguana butts for iguana parasites so that they can do research on what these guys are spreading around South Florida. Hey, it's all for the research, baby. All for the research. Nice. All right. And for a few butt swaps. Let's let's yeah, let's bag that guy. <laughs> we gotta check ourselves, knowing that we are in tick infested areas. Also iguana infested areas. But while Jessica's gonna do that, I'm gonna peek back here and see what's at this lake. Wait, I'm following. Oh, you're gonna follow me one time? Yeah, because I think there's gonna be iguanas. Okay, I'm not gonna say no to that. The problem is only a few shots. I mean, I didn't bring help. Yo, there's a gator. There's a gator. Yeah, right there. There is a baby gator! Oh my, is that a- Yes! That's a gator? Yes! Hey. Totally agree.
Fury. But what if it's a Cayman? Oh, he just. Oh, he, he did go on If it's a Cayman, it's not a reef. I, th I think it was a gator, though. It was too. That's insane. That was good spot, dude. Oh, here he, he is. He came back. Hey, buddy, where are you going? No. That's wild. Yeah, yes. Just keeps coming he back. Look at that little baby. He almost looks like a little baby crocodile, huh? Could be a croc. Oh, could is. be a gator. Drop some comments. Let us know what you guys think. We are on private property right now. And we are next to the Everglades. Oh, yeah. We are real close to the Everglades, aren't we? We're very west, yeah. Yeah, we're really far west. Where'd he go? He went back under? Yeah. Oh, no. He's right there. He's right there. Oh. Well, Jess, I don't want to try to scare you or nothing, but usually where there's baby gators, there could be big gators. I was thinking the same thing, and I've been climbing in the lake all day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. That's, we'll just leave it at that. But uh, that right there, guys, is one of the reasons why you have to be very careful out here. And, um, you know, just there are gators and snakes. Let's just put it like that. And iguanas. Spiders and ticks. And spiders and ticks, as we are learning right now. Let's see if we can. So mad if I get a tick. Yeah, I've actually got a couple of, like stuck on me one time. You can like, get some really bad diseases from them. And infections, and stuff that's yeah. Irreversible, like Lyme disease and all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of rare stuff that's been linked to tick bites. Yep, 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 yep. It's uh, it's I'm like trying to get that research group to look into the ticks with the iguanas. That's what I told the girl. If she'll let me do the butt swabs, I'm gonna send her iguana ticks, and I want them to, to do find out. Tank. If they carry Lyme disease or not, can they be a spreader of Lyme disease? That's that's wild. I don't see anything. We should yeah, move on. Yeah, we should. Look, this is the last of it. That's the bush I was showing you earlier. They eat off the top, like somebody took scissors to it. Mm -hmm. This is the last oh. of the leaves of it because they've killed it. See, this is it. Same thing I showed you earlier. But it's almost dead, and these two are dead. Deforested. This is iguana damage at its best. They actually killed these. This was this was a hibiscus. No, this was croton. Oh, this okay. Holy they smokes! Dead. Wow. They killed it all the way. This can be knocked all the way to the ground. See, it this is, is completely dead. It's never coming back. So is that one. The lost hat. It even has soap? mushrooms growing on it because it's so dead. That's why. I'm gonna scan the trees too. All right. That'd be great. A little bitty guy right in front of us. He's more atomic worthy than ghosts. We have a, uh, another one out. That little baby? That's the no, hatchling I was there's, pointing at. There's some big ones out there. Is there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see him. I see him. Let there's me get this two. guy first. All right. This guy, we're going to shoot on high power. Hang on. He's moving on me. I was trying to stop him. Dropped him. Nice shot, Jess. Thanks. He's doing the flippity yeah, flop. Oh hang on, God. hang on. Do, 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 stay, oh, stay, stay. Where are you going? Come back. Come back. Way. Come back. Come back. Yeah, There's like four of them. There's like four of them over there, Jess. Yeah, let's see if we can get them with the ghost. We're gonna stay right here. We're not gonna move. Okay. That's a good drop. This is wild. We're gonna put our parallax on. Thirty. Yeah, we're right there by the edge. Come to the top of this. Bad angle here. You want to come around, Matt? Got him. Nice. Drop. Buddy went behind the bush there. Look at him flopping over there. I see him. He's flippity flopping it. Let's get these two so we don't lose them because this is about numbers. So that one's flopping over there, but there's a second one behind that bush, so I don't want to scare it. I'm going to go over there. Let's at least get this guy. Here, follow, come back over here, DJ. Where's the one that we shot here? I think he went inside that hole. Right there. Right here. Oh, you're right there. Oh, I'm so sorry. Nice. That's the one we got with the atomic? I'll hold that. You want to get the other? Got ghosted. Got ghost. Right there under the eye. There's three. 
They just never well, learn, Jess. There's three there. Yeah, he's right. Hang on. Are there people at the playground? Negative. Yeah. So we could use the ghost here. Uh oh. Let's do it right here. It's about to be oh, up. of course he already ran. There's still that one there. Still one. Not the dumb one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you shoot this one here, everyone get out the cart and back up. We have one right here. Right here on this tree. Hang on, hang on, I can get it right now. Wait. Just, just film right here up above us. Stay right there, stick your camera out. Got right you. Above us. I got you. See him? Yep. I think I see him. If not, I'm about to see him real soon. Uh, follow the trunk of the tree up. Okay. Just follow the trunk of the tree up. You okay. See him on the right? Uh, yeah. Right here? DJ's on him. He's got him. Yep. Got him? Yep. Yep. There we go. I shot. He's stuck in the tree. He's stuck right there with his tail flopping around. Oh, there, you go. there he is. Fuck him. Fuck him the ground. Oh, no. Where is he? Oh. He's not he's not. Careful about that one. We don't want to scare that. I'm going to shoot with the goat. Yes, ma'am. Nice one. Got him. Dang, there goes Jess right there. He was somewhere right over here. He's blending in perfectly. Where, where'd he go? Oh, yeah, he's right there. Nice shot. Right through the eye. Thank you. That's bullseye. That's money. I'll take it. Got you, so let's, uh, We're going to go ahead and dump out our iguanas and get a count on what we got here. And uh, get an idea of what sort of shots we got on him. He's not joking. Look at that. That's kind of nice. So uh, we're going to line him up and see what sort of count we got. And hopefully we'll be back out here again and show you all what uh, else we get here. The overall count is supposed to be 100. And um, our initial goal is 50. So let's see how close we got. Okay, guys. So we got a whole bunch of iguanas in a box here. We're going to go ahead and get a count on them. See how it went today. Whoa. They're not light. They also don't smell good, but um, we're gonna line them up and get y'all a count on them. Get an idea of what sort of difference we made for this Two, place. Four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. This makes 16 here. Little guy doesn't count. 18, 20. We got 20 iguanas in three hours, which is not the best numbers in the world. We didn't have them come out as much as we thought we would. So I'm gonna come back through here and just kind of sneak around and grab them again next time. It's really, really hot today. So I think that they may have um, gone back and gotten in the shade. But uh, the ghost definitely came through. It hits them at the distances I need because when we got close enough to use the atomic, they run. They disappear in the trees, they disappear in the lake. So um, thank you so much, Raj, for coming out here. And oh, no yeah, problem. thank no you. Problem. Yeah. Great to um, have assistance. Appreciate you helping. And um, we hope to share with y'all again. I hope y'all appreciate Raj and DJ coming out and filming for us. Anytime. Thank you so much, DJ. Um, yeah, so join us next time with the Ghost in the Atomic. I'm Jessica with Iguana Solutions. This is Raj with the Iguana Man channel. And DJ is on Instagram with the Iguana Kid. The Iguana Kid on Instagram. So peace out and join us next time. That's massive. Too. Guys. Look at the ticks on this iguana. Look, I'm going to show you compared to my finger how big it is. Look at the size of that tick. That is unreal.